The Biden administration wants you to think conservatives are attacking our democracy, but the truth is it's conservatives who are under assault. Take Christmas Day, where two Republican lawmakers, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and Congressman Brandon Williams, were the victims of swatting calls. We reached out to the Cayuga County Sheriff's Office to ask what happened in regards to Congressman Williams and received this response in part. Members of our sheriff's office, along with the New York State Police, did respond to Congressman Williams' residence yesterday at approximately 2 p.m. after receiving a report of an alleged shooting that had occurred there. We were quickly able to confirm that the report was false. This was clearly a swatting incident intended to solicit a law enforcement response to the congressman's home for an emergency that did not exist. The sheriff is working with the U.S. Capitol Police to determine who perpetrated this act, which was clearly designed to frighten and intimidate the congressman and his family. Congressman Brandon Williams joins me now. Congressman, I'm sorry that this happened to you on Christmas. I'm sorry for Marjorie Taylor Greene. Tell me what happened. When did you learn something was amiss at your house? Well, I got a call that I didn't recognize the number and I went to voicemail and, and just reflexively I looked at it and said, it's the sheriff. Uh, their office, we're on our way to your house uh, for a shooting incident. And I uh, called them back and I said, hey, everything's cool here. But I stepped outside um, to greet them outside. Just think of it through the eyes of a police officer. You see on the screen them coming, you know, in heavy into my house. Um, you know, they don't know what they're uh, facing. And so I try to just make it easy for them. I gathered my family um, in one room and just told them, you know, show your hands, be respectful, uh, which they would do anyway. But uh, you really have to de-escalate that because it's it's just not fair for law enforcement, uh, much less it's very violating of my family. Of course it is. And Congressman, someone put a sign outside your mailbox and the sign read this, end the war on Gaza. So do you think this is yet another intimidation tactic because of your pro-Israel views? There's no question. You know, when they when they target your house, uh, we've had uh, neighbors actually that have had a car stop and say, do you know where the congressman lives around here? Can you point out his house? This happened several weeks ago. The sign that you see was several weeks ago as I was heading to the airport um, to go down to D.C. and I'm leaving my family at home. And, um, you know, th this has happened a couple of times. Uh, they know where I live, and, uh, you know, wow. these incidents very well may be related. You know, I only have 15 seconds here, but have they found the person who did this yet? You know, it's very easy to hide um, your location uh, when making phone calls because of voice over IP and, and all the different technologies of how the telecommunication system works. I've given the police the margin to... Uh, to do their investigation, the Capitol Police are involved, local police are involved, um, and uh, and not trying not to interfere. But I'm sure I'll get an update here in a day or two. But I've not heard of any uh, uh, any leads so far. But I hope that changes. Wow. Yeah. Well, stay safe. I know this has happened to Congresswoman Green eight times. Let that sink in. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.